Welcome back. I am Niharika, and today we are gonna talk about occupation categories. So, do you love your job? Well, I do. I totally love teaching. But do you have any idea in what category your job falls in? Well, in English, we have different phrases that we use for different occupation categories. So that's what we are gonna learn today. So let's get started. The first one that we have over here are blue collar jobs. Now what are blue collar jobs? Well, the people who belong to the working class okay and who perform uh, manual labor skilled manual labor they are the people who fall under this category so for example factory workers electricians mechanics uh, or laborers so they all fall into this category so they uh, perform jobs uh, the skilled manual jobs and are extremely hard working and in fact, uh, the people who belong to this category are paid by hourly wages. And uh, they are also paid by uh, projects or some of them are salaried. But yes, uh, particularly these blue collar jobs or the blue collar workers are paid by hourly wages. Okay, so uh, the examples that I gave you, they are the people who belong to this category. The next category that we have is white collar jobs. Okay, so who are the people who belong to this category? Well, the people who go to the office. Now, if you are in an office uh, on your desk or in your cubicle, which means that you belong to the corporate world, then you belong to this category. So the people who do the office jobs like the administrative work are people who are managers or who belong to the HR firms. So all these people have white collar jobs. Basically, they fall into this category. OK, so they're the corporate people. So they dress up uh, formally and they go to work. So they all belong to the white collar jobs category. Then the next one is uh, pink collar jobs. Now pink collar jobs, uh, the people who belong to the service industry, they fall into this category. In fact, traditionally, pink collar jobs are associated with female workers. Well, I think that's the reason why we have this name pink collar jobs because it's traditionally associated with female workers. So uh, jobs like um, a dietitian or a maid or domestic help or babysitter or maybe a hairstylist. Okay, so they these kind of jobs fall into this category. Of course, it belongs to the service industry, but another phrase that you can use for this industry is the pink collar jobs, okay? Then the next one is bureaucrats. Now, who are the people who uh, work in bureaucracy okay now these are the people who work for government and they follow certain procedures so or certain policies so they are bureaucrats so the people who work in the government Okay, so the people who work in the government and they follow certain procedures and follow policies are bureaucrats, right? Then the next one that I have for you are professionals. Well, professionals are highly qualified people and their job um, is respected all over the world. So uh, people like uh, doctors or veterinarians 
or even lawyers. So they all are professionals. Of course, they are highly qualified and they're highly respected people, right? So the perfect phrase or the perfect word that we use for the people who are lawyers, doctors, or veterinarians, okay, they are professionals. Okay, then the next one is academics. Well, my job falls into this category. So the people who belong to academics, well, they are uh, teachers or college professors or even writers and researchers. So their main job is to teach or to read and write a lot. Okay, so they belong to academics. Again, the people who belong to academics are also highly qualified people, okay? But they do not fall into professionals, they fall into the academics category, okay? So teachers, professors, researchers, they all fall into this category. Okay, then the next one is celebrities. Well, celebrities uh, are the elite group of people. Well, they belong to the high society and are very famous for their jobs. So they can be actors, they can be singers, they can be painters like artists, okay? So people who are very famous, okay, like Everybody knows them, okay? If they walk on the road, people would come recognize them, okay? Because they are famous. So they are celebrities. And again, they belong to the elite group of people. So the people who are famous, like actors, artists, or sports personalities. So they all are celebrities. The reason because a common man knows them pretty well. Okay, then the next one is creative class. Well, I'm sure you have an idea by reading the word itself, creative class. So the people who design, the people who paint, and uh, the people who even write, okay, they belong to the creative class. Now remember, if they are highly famous, okay, if a common, ma common man can recognize them or the common man knows them, then they belong to this category. But uh, designers, like interior designers, or even fine artists. Okay, so they all belong to uh, the creative class. In fact, even animators, okay, the people who animate, they also belong to creative class because they create something, they design something, right? So that's uh, creative class for you. And then the last one that I have for you is freeloaders. So who are freeloaders? Well, it's pretty interesting. It's a negative term in English. And it's used for the person who doesn't do any job. Yes, he survives by taking help from his or her friends or from family and they just don't do anything, okay? Well, for me, they're kind of losers, but then, yes, uh, a correct phrase that you can use in English is a freeloader. He is a freeloader. So he survives by taking help from people and does no job, okay? So these are the phrases that you can use. Now, the next time you are talking about uh, someone's career or you're talking about uh, a profession or occupation, you know that what job falls into which category, right? So I hope this lesson is helpful to you. I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care and have a great day.